Hey y'all, welcome back to the King's Corner. So today, we are going to talk about jumpsuits. We're going to talk about my top 15 favorite jumpsuits. So jumpsuits, uh, just something that always really interests me about Elvis. I loved his stage wear. Um, you know, I just think they're so cool. They're so cool to look at. It's just another thing that makes Elvis so cool on stage is, you know, he's got something really cool on. Um, so in this video, we're just going to start at number 15 and work our way to the top. Uh, we're only talking about jumpsuits, so anything he wore in the 50s, any two-piece suits from, uh, you know, like 72 or 75, those don't count. We're talking about one-piece jumpsuit with a belt. Yeah. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with number 15. Number 15 is the Fringe. So, the Fringe was in 1970. And I think it's one of my favorite from uh, 1970. You uh, you can see him wear it on... Um, that's the way it is. The poster that's right behind me. And, um... Yeah, I just think it's one of the coolest ones he has. You know, I like the chain and all that stuff. But from the 1970, uh, you know, jumpsuits that were a lot simpler. I think the fringe is really cool. And, uh... Fun fact about it. The beads were made of wood. And, um... I was told that they were altered, uh, so, like, the beads were taken off and then put on in different spots for, like, in between tours, uh, so I, I couldn't find any good examples of pictures. If I do, you'll see them, but, uh, I haven't found any good examples that, you know, proves that point. All right, number 14 is the Cisco Kid with the, uh, red shoulders, so the, uh, he had a couple different ones. He had, like, a green one. He had a white jumpsuit with the black shoulders uh he had a blue one and, and then he also had a maiden vest and stuff uh but of course red is probably one of my favorite colors and so i have to go with the red and black perfect color combination i just think he looks cool number 13 is the american eagle no not that one that one uh i don't know what i like about this one you know the the one from 73 is really cool don't get me wrong but i kind of like it a little more simple when it comes to the American Eagle. And I think I've just seen the Aloha American Eagle a bajillion times. And uh, and this one's just kind of, it's kind of, you know, something different, a little more fresh to my eyes. Number 12 is the Pharaoh from 1973. Um, this is also known as the Today jumpsuit because on the, uh, it's, it's what he's wearing on the uh, album Today. Um, Fun fact about this uh, suit, it is the last suit that he had a cape for. A lot of people, when they think about Elvis in a jumpsuit, they think Elvis, jumpsuit, big belt, and a cape. And that's true, he did have capes, big belts, and all that. But after 73, he, he didn't have any more uh, capes. And uh, why, I'm not sure. I heard people used to tug on him. Uh, maybe it just was real expensive to have another big piece of bejeweled garment made. Um... But yeah, interesting. And I just like this suit. I think it looks cool. I really have nothing much to say about it. Number 11 is the Red Phoenix. Uh, so there were four Phoenix suits. They had um, white and, with a black Phoenix, a white suit with a turquoise Phoenix, and then the white and the red one that I'm talking about. And then they had a like a navy blue and a white Phoenix. Um, but I think the red one is the coolest. Actually, ta-da. Um... I just think it's the, it's, you know, again, red is my favorite color, and uh, I think it just he just looked really good in that one. The fun fact about the Red Phoenix is the only one out of the four that the bird is facing the right, so the head is facing one way, while all the other ones, the bird is facing the other way. And that was just a mistake by the designer. I, and the Phoenix suit was actually a mistake um, in general. It was supposed to be a zebra. And, uh, like, two zebras bowing to each other. And Elvis looked at the design backwards and thought it looked like a bird. And was like, man, that bird has funny-looking feet, which it was the zebra head. So it turned into a phoenix. Number 10 is the Black Spanish Flower. Uh, this one's really cool. There's a couple different ones. There's, a uh, well, two black ones, one with the red stone, the green stones, and then there's a white one as well. I like the black and red, of course. You're seeing a pattern of, you know, why I like certain things is usually color wise um but yeah i like that one i think it's real cool i i it's real just it's just cool y'all i have nothing to say <laughs> all right number nine is the peacock suit uh elvis wore this in 1974 now what i've heard this is his favorite suit um that was elvis's favorite suit of his own 
Um, fun fact about the suit, it was uh, sold in August of 2008 for $300,000. Lately, since uh, Ben passed away, there was this um, like fake Instagram post that made it look like Ben had posted it, and it was a picture of the peacock jumpsuit, and it said, now I, I uh, just bought this, now I feel closer to my grandpa, something like that. I don't believe that is true, and here, here's why I believe it's not true. I don't believe Ben ever owned that. Uh, prove me wrong if, you know, if he really did. But, um, either right before or right after he had passed, Days the Jordan Lion, who, which is another, uh, channel on YouTube, he was at Graceland and he was interviewing Angie Marchese. Angie is the archives director at Graceland, and he asked her, what is the number one item on your list that you want, you know, for, you know, to put on display here at Graceland? And she said her number one thing is the peacock jumpsuit. And she says, uh, I know the owner, the person who owns it, it's in private hands. Um, but never said, like, it's still with the family. If it was still with the family, I would believe it would just be at Graceland. They come see it whenever they want. Um, at least for a good portion, of, especially with the jumpsuits. Um, and, yeah, I just believe that Ben never owned that jumpsuit. I believe that it's just in one of them big collector's hands. And, um... Graceland just doesn't have it because the private collector wants it for themselves. All right, let's go to number eight is the red pinwheel or the burning love jumpsuit. So this is his only red jumpsuit that he had, and it is also in the hands of a private collector. Um, you could see this jumpsuit on Elvis on tour. Um, but yeah, I, I really like this one. There are three different like uh, pinwheel jumpsuits. There's the white one and the red one, which were both on Elvis on tour. And then there was a black one, which he wore the year prior, like in like Boston, I believe he wore it. Um, but yeah, in the private hands, so Graceland, another one Graceland does not own. Number seven is the orange sunburst. Uh, I love this one. It looks like a target, and I love the stones that they use. The stones are also, they may be the same stones that were used for the robe that Elvis gave Muhammad Ali, which is all, you know, bedazzled out and said like people's choice on the back. Um, I believe they're the same stones, and I really like the way it looks. All right, number six is the Lucky Suit, or the Blue Swirl, whatever you want to call it. He wore this in 72, 73. I really like the different colored suits. I like the red and the blue suits, and of course I like black and white suits, but it's fun to see him in something, you know, like just a whole different color, like red and blue. And I love the design on it, and I love how he wore, like, a bunch of different belts with it. So, like, he had, like, a, a fringe belt he wore with it. He wore a, uh, like the original belt and then a rare mirror belt, which is super cool. All right, we're going into the top five, folks. Number five is the dragon from 1974. Uh, I just love, I love the, the, the design of the dragon. I think he looked really good in it. Um, and it's one of those jumpsuits, which is really weird, where you see a, like a tribute artist wearing a jumpsuit. Sometimes they look good in them. But I have yet to see somebody pull off the uh, dragon jumpsuit besides Elvis. I don't know why. Number four is the tiger or the mad tiger. I love this jumpsuit. I think it just looks cool. I think, you know, it really fit Elvis because Elvis, you know, that was his nickname was tiger. And uh, I think it fit him. I think it looked good on him. Another 74 jumpsuit. A lot of cool jumpsuits in 74. A lot of animal inspired jumpsuits. Number three is the Thunderbird. Now the Thunderbird is super cool. It's very similar to the Aloha jumpsuit, the American Eagle. Um, but it's got different stones, it's got like real turquoise in it, and um, it's a real heavy jumpsuit too, lots of stones. So I'm going to read from my handy dandy notebook. I have some information, thanks to Ashley Drew, for some of this information. So, well, first off, he first wore the belt with, not the original belt he got the jumpsuit with, but uh, from a belt that Jack Lord got for Elvis, and so Elvis wore it with that. Um... But in 1973, and I, I can't remember the day, I will put it up here, uh, in Atlanta, I believe, uh, Elvis was wearing the suit and he saw a kid in the audience, like a little kid wearing uh, like a homemade jumpsuit and had like a little guitar and everything. And Elvis saw him and uh, decided to give him his cape. So Elvis takes off his cape or gets the cape from Charlie and uh, gives it to the kid. And then J.D. Sumner says, give him his belt. Well, actually, it was more, hey, man, give him his belt. But anyway, um, so then Elvis also gave him his belt. And uh, the kid name was Robbie Barnes. 
and uh, he kept it till he was about a teenager. And when he got old enough, he got a license. He wanted to get a car, so he decided to get uh, to sell it. And so he sold it to Jimmy Velvet, who's a known person in the Elvis world. And um, unfortunately, though, about a year later, he did pass away in that car that uh, he got in a wreck and passed away in the car that he bought with that money. So a uh, sad story to go with that jumpsuit, but uh, interesting, neither the less. We got two more people. Eyelet. I think that's what you call it. E-Y-E-L-E-T. Eyelet. This is what Elvis wore um, at Madison Square Garden. I believe that's where it, he made the debut for the uh, for the suit. I just think it looks so cool. Again, I love red. It's got red incorporated into it. White and red looks great. And um, same with black and red. But just looks fantastic. It really fit him well at the time. And uh, yeah, 1972. Of course, that's my favorite year of Elvis. So um, a lot of people think that Elvis wore the what is it the white pyramid at msg because of the album cover has he's wearing that suit but that's from jacksonville uh a show in jacksonville ellis wore the eyelet at msg so super cool great suit and my number one favorite jumpsuit of all time is the v-neck <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, it is the Black Conquistador. Now, the Black Conquistador, I, I have a theory of why it's my favorite. Now, of course, I love the black jumpsuits, except for the black pinwheel. Uh, why, I don't know. But anyway, I love the black jumpsuits, and I, I blame my mother for why this is my favorite, because it's her favorite. And so as a kid, I remember I remember going into the first job I remember her having. She, like, worked in a cubicle at a, at a hospital, and I remember she had this in there and I, I remember always asking her about it. she said yep that's my favorite jumpsuit and I guess it just kind of rubbed off on me but again red and black you know the whole deal I just think it's great it's a great suit great look for Elvis in 1972 yeah awesome so y'all that is my favorite jumpsuits what are your favorite jumpsuits let me know in the comments below other than that y'all that's all we have for today so if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe hit the thumbs up and share it anywhere there are Elvis fans. And until next time, we'll see you around, folks.